have to confess, I voted Libertarian in 2008, and I really can't remember who I voted for. So why should someone in 2012 vote for a Libertarian when that person has uh, almost no chance of winning? We have third-party candidate and uh, former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson with us right now. Under what scenario would you become our president? Uh, you if, say you can I, win. There's if, no scenario. No, nobody believes you can win, and you don't. You don't believe you can win. Uh, well, the only scenario under which I win is if I'm in the national debates, mm -hmm. and and at that point that could be crash and burn, uh, or that anything could happen if that happens. You failed as a Republican candidate. Is that why you're running as a Libertarian candidate? You know, the message that I'm delivering is the same as that of Ron Paul's, and I think, the I think I'm a spokesperson right now for the fastest growing segment of American politics today, and that's those that consider yeah. themselves Libertarian. I want to talk about the frightful Libertarian moment with your friend, Ron Paul. Your policy towards Iran is if they want to develop a nuclear weapon, that's their right, no sanctions, no effort to stop them. No, I think that makes. I think that thing that makes it much worse. Why would that be so strange? If the Soviets and the Chinese have nuclear weapons, we tolerated the Soviets. We didn't attack them, and they were a much greater danger. They were the greatest danger to us in in our whole history. But you don't go to war against them. I think he made a lot of sense up until that point. I think a lot of uh, potential libertarian voters saw that and went, "Oh, sweet Jesus, this is a problem." I mean, that's a frightening moment. Well, do you uh, feel the same way? Uh, I feel the same way as Ron Paul. I, I mean, from the let Iran nuke up. Well, well, first of all, if we bomb Iran, we're going to be into a two-year bombing maintenance program of Iran. We're going to make a hundred million Ameri uh, hundred million enemies that we wouldn't have otherwise had. And uh, nuclear weapons—they're all about uh, uh, deterrence. You know, Iran launches a nuclear weapon; they are assured of their destruction. They—they they say they're going to use it. They, uh, I mean, I remember a song when the, I was a kid the, uh, by Sting, I hope the Russians love their kids too. It turns out they did. These people want to bring about an apocalypse. They, they're saying they're going to use it. Shouldn't we take them seriously? Look, after 9-11 uh, in Iran, there was the biggest demonstration on the planet in support of the United States and 9-11 and, and, and what happened mm -hmm. in, at 9-11, support for the United States. So if we bomb Iran... Yeah look for a two-year bombing maintenance program for Iran. They're just going to do it deeper, uh, but, but they're, going, they're going to develop that nuclear weapon. And then where are they going to launch it? And by the way, we should be vigilant. Well, they're going to they're gonna launch it towards Israel. They're going to they're launch it towards America. And, and I also remember Isra people is celebrating all over the Middle East and on 9-11. And, and Israel has 300 nuclear warheads. They launch a weapon and retaliatory strike. They launch a weapon. They are assured of their own destruction. They're not going to launch a weapon. And don't, don't misunderstand either. We should be vigilant to vigilant. a th by, by so vigilant, watch, vigilant watch to them a nuke up, but don't do anything about it. Well, perhaps we do, do you have something Israel about do it? it. If you're president, do you say Israel go take care of Iran? Well, uh, right now I would say don't yeah. bomb Iran. We bomb Iran, we're we're going to end up with a nuclear war at the end of this. If should if we, we have troops Iran? anywhere on the planet Earth. Under your presidency, should we? Under, under my presidency, I am looking to reduce the military footprint by 43%. I think we have to balance the federal budget. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest threat to our national security is the fact that we're borrowing and printing money to the tune of 43 cents out of every dollar that we're spending. So I'm going to propose a 43% reduction in military spending, which only takes right. us back to the year 2003. So and, and in that 43% is a, is a reduction in the military, in the, in the military footprint. Yes, you would let Iran nuke up, though. I want to make this clear. Not necessarily, but but they are they are. But you're not going to do anything about they it. They are and, years. And well, well, by not doing anything about it. How, how about yeah. the notion of diplomacy, real diplomacy? How about the notion of okay, that of fails. Trade? Do you let them nuke up? Depending on uh, yeah. on the look, look. I don't want. Uh, this is a primary responsibility of the president of the United States to make. Yeah, but that's to you want to be the, the president States. of the United States. Exactly. So is it your job to stop Iran? Who says they're going to use the nukes before they get to that point? So should we have gone in and, and, uh, and uh, bombed uh, Turkey or India or uh, the Soviet Union or China when they developed their nuclear weapons? I'm asking you, yeah, Mankow. Yeah, well, maybe we, we should maybe we should have stopped some of these programs, yes. Maybe we'd have a lot fewer problems well, right now. Well, I think, also, we would have, I think we would have bigger problems. You also believe drugs should be decriminalized and, and fine. You're fine with that? Marijuana? Well, the are, uh, the, the yeah. only drug I'm advocating legalizing is marijuana. Are you, are you, think, are you high right now? Am I high right now? <laughs> I don't think I would be able to do this if, if okay, I were high so you're right not, now. You haven't had any brownies or anything to prepare for this? <laughs> you know, I, 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 uh, yeah. I think I'd be... Uh, there you uh, go. Do you, do, you, are you, do you use marijuana? Do I? No, yeah, I don't. No. Uh, I Why have, are you though. such a big supporter of it? I mean, people always 
Whenever I bring up your name, oh, he likes marijuana. Well, Why do they think that? Well, I'm in the category of 100 million Americans who smoke yeah. marijuana, and but for the wrong set of circumstances, right. I'm behind bars. Look, I don't want to be a hypocrite on this. Yeah. We got so two... you, you, you inhaled. You I, smoked I did. and you inhaled. Well, I've, I've joked that I've never, no, I never exhaled. You, but... you, you cut taxes in your state, and it worked, right? You cut the taxes and it worked. Well, uh, more than that, I think I really brought about fiscal sanity. I may have yep. the distinction of having vetoed more bills than the other 49 governors in the country combined. So I really said no to government right. spending. I really said no to the government when it came to civil liberties, the notion that government passes laws and rules and regulations that just add time and money yep. uh, to us having to be able to comply with those rules and regulations. And I said no. The, what I'm asking you, though, is the, uh, the, the tax situation in America right now, if you became president, would you... You'd abolish the IRS, you'd cut taxes, you'd... Well, I, I would adopt yeah. the fair tax. I would abolish the IRS. I would uh, eliminate uh, income tax, corporate tax, tax withholding. Yeah. I think it really reboots the American economy for the next 100 years. It, it kicks uh, crony capitalism in the rear end. Uh, look, uh, Washington uh, is selling loopholes, and individuals, groups, and corporations are buying those loopholes. Adopting the fair tax, I think, issues pink slips to half of Washington lobbyists. You should be a Republican. You're now a libertarian? Maybe I've always been a libertarian. Uh, I took a, a hiatus and became a Republican, but uh, I'm, I'm just A Republican asking. so you could win? Well, Republican so I could win, Actu is, actually govern. But outside Is Mitt of Romney, uh, what, what is he to you? Is he a Republican? Is he a good conservative to you? Uh, well, the only issue I have with Mitt Romney is I have no idea where Mitt Romney stands on any of these issues. He talks about balancing the federal budget, the need to do that, but, uh, but he says that we should hold military, we should increase spending for the military, uh -huh. and that we should hold Medicare in check. So, well, I graduated so wait, from the second grade, and it doesn't add up. The mathematics so don't the guy add up. That costs, you used to be a Republican. You're the guy that comes in, you get 2%, 3% of the vote. Mitt Romney loses. Are you okay with that? Are you okay... Being are you are you going to be okay with the fact? Are you going to cheer over the fact that I cost Obama the election? Because that's actually statistically that's what you what's think coming happens. down. You well, affect Obama. No, you don't no. Affect I think I think actually it's going to take equally from both sides. Right. And I think people should vote their conscience as opposed to voting for the lesser of two evils. Okay. I want to play a little game with you. You want to, you're jumping all over the place. You want to play a little game with me? Here we go. I don't have a choice, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. So here, here's what here's you're you're driving down the road, your brakes fail. You're coming to a fork in the road. There's a there's a, a liberal in one road, a conservative in the other. Which which road do you turn down? <laughs> uh, at that point, uh, I, I am I I am skillful enough yeah. to avoid both. Wow. Uh, John Stossel, the most famous libertarian we all know around here. What about him as your VP? Well, uh, I do have a VP, uh, J Jim Gray, uh, former su uh, Superior Court yeah. judge in California, yeah. former federal prosecutor, very outspoken on the war on yeah. drugs. Terrific guy, uh, solid guy. Nobody it, knows who that is. Good well, luck. Uh, well, the notion is, yeah. is that uh, he takes over if, uh, if something happens to me, and I take that very seriously in that selection. Thank you for coming in. Mancow, thank, thank you, you very much. Okay.